the auto ship report. Under associate or distributor sender, click on auto ship report. You'll then want to enter the start and end dates of the reporting period that you want to see the auto ship stats for. Then you click run report. I have chosen a period of five days to look at. As you can see, it ran the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Each day that it ran, it'll provide you the successful, those that have warnings, those that are errors, those that declined, or those that failed. And if you happen to run it on a day that the auto ship is still running, it'll have those that are pending. So I'm going to show you how to see those that are successful. As you can see here on 7-9, there was one successful. If you want to click on that number, it will appear a list below of the successful ones. So it provides their order number, their ID number, their name, their email address, and whether the order was successful, failed, or declined. You can export this and provide it to people in your company that may want to call. Uh, typically, the calls for failed auto ship go out based on either errors, declines, or fails. Because this is a test environment, there are not going to be any actual declines but the fails act as if they're declines. In your system, in a live system, errors and fails will only happen if there are no items on the auto ship template, no credit card on the auto ship template, no address on the auto ship template, etc. Uh, even uh, no ship method on the auto ship template would cause it to either go into an error status or a failed status, depending on what's missing from the order. Now let's pretend that you want to have your customer service department call on these declined auto ships. So in order to provide them a list, you can click on the number of the ones that have declined. We're going to pretend this 32 was a decline and not a fail, and you click on the 32. It will below provide you a list of the 32 and all of their contact information. And if you would like to export it, you click the export button. It'll provide you a link. Click on the link. It'll download into an Excel file. And then you can open. Now you can provide this list to your customer service agents. It will have their email address, their order number, their ID number, their name, and their home phone numbers.